Hi and good evening. We are December the 4th and today I am going to answer a question that I received from Saskia. And Saskia says, Hi Eva, I have heard you talk about photonic therapy, I have heard you talk about the McLaren method, and I have heard you talk about advanced photonic therapy. Could you put it all in a perspective? Because I have only been following you for the last two months, so I don't know how one flew into the other. Okay, so this was a, a quick translation because I received the question in Dutch, okay? So what I wanted you uh, to understand that photonic therapy in itself, the words photonic and therapy, only means the application of light as a therapeutic modality. And then Dr. Brian McLaren worked out a way to stimulate specific acupuncture points with light. And in this case, with a specific light, meaning at 660 nanometers, a light that could replace the function of needles in an acupuncture session. So what Dr. Brian McLaren did in the 1990s was, he would call it photonic therapy, the McLaren method. Okay, so photonic therapy is the use of light as a therapeutic modality. And the McLaren method was using that specific light therapy in combination with the stimulation of specific acupuncture points. So in other words, photonic therapy can do one thing. The McLaren method of photonic therapy can do a lot more because it can not only use light as a therapeutic modality of torching locally to relieve pain, it can, on top of that, be used to stimulate specific acupuncture points and get, in the end, the same effect as an acupuncture session, but without using needles. So this is what, uh, what happened in the 1990s and then in the, in, in the years following 2000. And in 2009, the, uh, Brian McLaren, Dr. Brian McLaren, and then his son, Rob McLaren, thought of making the wording simpler. So when they constituted the new business, the new uh, enterprise, in 2010, they called it, the McLaren method of photonic therapy became advanced photonic therapy. Because what we do is a lot more than just photonic therapy. It's not just using the light as a therapeutic modality because anybody who is using red light therapy or green light therapy or blue light therapy, it's all a kind of photonic therapy. Okay? Because it's light used as a therapeutic modality. Dr. Brian McLaren's system was the McLaren method. I'm using this specific red light therapy at 660 nanometers to stimulate specific acupuncture points. That's the McLaren method. And he was the first to develop this. I see Christine is here. Welcome, Christine. And so in 2010, with the new business, with the new enterprise, with the new company, Instead of having it to call it the photonic therapy, the McLaren method, or the McLaren method of photonic therapy, they thought of making it simpler by calling it advanced photonic therapy. It's not just a photonic therapy, it's something more. Okay? So it is what we have always been doing in the first place, stimulating specific, specific acupuncture points on the body, so we can help the body, the whole body, body, brain, everything is interconnected. We can help the whole of what we are, what we as humans are, what we as our animals are, okay? To help them to heal acute and chronic problems, to help them heal physical, mental, neurological problems. Okay, 
All of that can be done with photonic therapy, the McLaren methods, called also advanced photonic therapy. But what you cannot achieve with just low level laser therapy on sore points or with just photonic therapy or red light therapy in itself. Because that is concentrated on the location of where the problem is, torching sore points, and that's it. That's not what we do. We do a lot more. We are going to take care of the origin of the problem so that it does not come back. Okay? So that's how photonic therapy, the McLaren method, evolved in being called the advanced photonic therapy. That's it for tonight. I will see you tomorrow. Keep on sending me your questions. I will be happy to answer them. Bye for now.